Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a smooth tablet baiting tool at home. But before we go into the mixing process properly, let's go through the safety precautions you will take as you do this preparation. Avoid direct contact of chemicals with the skin or eyes. Keep all chemicals out of reach of children and do not taste any chemical. Tablet bathing tube can be produced from the following materials. These are palm kernel oil, also known as PKO, caustic soda, soda ash light, sodium sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, also known as SLS, kaolin, sodium silicate, vitamin E, glycerin, and perfume. Now let's establish the quantity of materials needed to produce about 1.5 kg of tablet baiting soap. Palm kernel oil, also known as PKO, half a liter. Caustic soda, 125 gram. Soda ash light, 62.5 gram. Sodium sulfate, 100 gram. Sodium lauryl sulfate, also known as SLS, 50 gram. Kaolin, 50 gram. Sodium silicate, 100 ml. Vitamin E, 20 ml. Glycerin, 50 ml. And perfume, 20 ml. Now these are the materials. This is PKO. This is caustic soda solution. This caustic soda solution was prepared 48 hours ago. This caustic soda solution was prepared by dissolving 125 gram of caustic soda in 375 ml of water and the specific gravity adjusted to 1250. Now the solution was allowed to stand for 48 hours. This is soda ash light. This is sodium sulfate. This is SLS solution. This SLS solution was prepared 24 hours ago. This SLS solution was prepared by dissolving 50 grams of SLS in 375 ml of water and it stand for 24 hours. This is kaolin and this is sodium silicate. This is vitamin E, glycerin, perfume. And these are the improvised mold we're going to use. Now you can make mold by yourself or you can simply buy mold from online shops. Step 1. Now the first step is to dissolve the 125 gram of caustic soda in 375 ml of water and let it stand for about 48 hours. Please note that you have to adjust the specific gravity of this solution to 1250. Step 2. The second step is to dissolve the 50 gram of SLS in 375 ml of water and let it stand for 24 hours. This means that you will prepare the SLS solution 24 hours after preparing the caustic soda solution. And now step 3. Now measure 300 ml of the caustic soda solution and add the soda ash light and stir.
Step 4. Now take 250 ml of your SLS solution and add to the caustic soda solution. Mix and stir properly. Now add your 50 gram of kaolin also and stir very well. Now you can add your sodium sulfate to the soap solution. Now heat half liter of PKO in a pan or pot on a fire and allow it to warm. Do not let it boil. Now add the warm PKO to the mixture and stir very well for about 15 minutes. Now you can add other materials like sodium silicate, vitamin E, glycerin and perfume. Now stir the soap solution very well. Please make sure that you follow these steps 
one after the other very carefully. Now you can pour it into your mold and allow it to cool in a well ventilated area or room for about 3 to 4 days before you can remove them from the mold. Now after 3 to 4 days you can now remove them from the mold and allow it to dry properly. The drying process enables it to be harder so that it can last longer and lather well. This process is called curing. The curing process is a period when you keep your soap after removing it from the mold so that it can dry properly and becomes harder. Curing simply creates a firmer bath that lasts longer in a shower. Now as soon as you remove it from the mold, at this stage you can engrave the name of the soap on the body using the engraving machine or the logo or anything you want to write on the body of the soap. Sometimes this can also be done on the mold when you request for a special mold with an engraved design on it. Now one of the advantages of this method of making tablet bathing soap is that it is going to give you a very smooth textured tablet soap. Now for those of you that have watched our previous videos on how to make toilet soap or tablet soap, you will notice that the method we used in this particular production is different from the previous videos. Now the advantage of this method is that it will give you a very smooth textured soap as you can see on the screen. But it's going to take about 3 to 4 weeks for the soap to cure, that is for it to fully solidify and ready for use. But Definitely you're going to have a very smooth textured soap. So if you've been making soap, tablet soap or bar soap and the texture of your soap is very rough and haggard, you can use this method to prepare a very smooth textured soap. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you if you like this video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng you can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash c forward slash sunshine resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.